Could you talk to us about some artists that are on the rise? Who's starting this? I just I, wanted to be the one that I, did it. The you did. <laughs> I guess it was you. Uh, camera's looking over here, though. It's the 15 minute morning show podcast. Hi, now, now you're talking. Now you start it. It's a 15 minute morning show podcast. <laughs> Stole it right from Scary, snatched it. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, go for it. I don't have anything to say. Well, you got to introduce everybody, right? Oh, everybody's here. Mostly, really? no, every, nobody's no. here. Not nobody's really. Here. Well, some we people have are here. Danielle. Hi. Danielle Monero. We have Garrett. Garrett. This is like it being like uh, going mountain climb, uh, jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. We're just like, oh, let's just do it. And Every day. We didn't check. We didn't check if we had a parachute. We didn't even check for topics if yeah, we had exactly. anything to talk no, about. No, we don't. We have like, Froggy. Froggy's there. On the screen. We have some Hello. people. We have Scary right there. I'm over here. And, and then. Uh, Deanna, do you ever turn the camera around so that people can see you? Never. No. Wait, oh, there I, she is. Can I say something? Take a video of Nate. Take a shot of Nate in the other room trying to purposely avoid doing the 15-minute morning show. Yeah, yeah. what's up do with you that? See him? So do you right, see him? So right now, Elvis, Elvis yeah. is doing some production, so Elvis is busy in the room, and yes. Scotty's recording. So now Nate's full of shit because he thinks he's pretending. Right, Nate's right. standing there he's looking observing. Busy. Look, he's, he's on his phone. No, he's up. pretending to be busy. Oh, I'm on my phone. We got so much to do. Like, why does Nate have to uh, he doesn't. hold Elvis's hand he while Elvis on. reads things? Is Elvis still reading stuff? Oh, I would go in there, but I wouldn't get into nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no, Tom Tom Pullman just walked in. He oh. like he's about to walk into one of these one of these rooms. He always comes in during the 15 minute morning show, then someone says something inappropriate and he leaves. Right. You should Every say, Tom, time. we need an extra yeah. person. Tom, <laughs> so, come there? join us. Let me see. What? Oh, wait, oh, trying, oh Nate waiting. just texted me. What did he say? I can't, he wrote, I can't leave because Elvis is is reading uh, commercials. Full of shit. You can you can come out very quiet. Yeah, right. We've okay, all done Tom it. Tom turn, turn the camera. Oh, hey! hey Welcome to the 15-minute morning show. Hey! hey. <laughs> Sit down. We need an extra body. Okay. We don't have enough what people. Are we, about? we don't know yet. We, we just got into well, I think Tom should lead this. Okay, okay. but nobody Tom, say anything. About? But don't anybody say anything inappropriate because then Tom will get up and leave. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, Tom, we had he's, the he's uh, protecting over under of how long you would be in the podcast for before you'd be like, I gotta go, guys. Yeah, I gotta yeah. call. <laughs> well, I don't know. What's, well, what's on your mind? Wait, the, what Jets, the Jets are looking a lot better. The Jets than look that. good. The Yankees won. Yes. Go Yankees. It's a yes. good time to be a New York sports fan, right? It, it is. sure is. It how, is. And how are the Giants 5-1 and one and in second place? That's crazy to me. Well, also the Jets are in second place, right? Right, 4-2. Right? Well, we're, yeah. just, we're yeah. just happy when the Jets win. Let's yeah. just yeah. start there. Yeah, that's the only Tom, team I care about. Tom, how's your fantasy too. football like team doing? How's what? How's your fantasy oh, football team? 5-1. Yeah. Uh, five, five and one. Oh, there you what's go. What's your team name? It is the Waiver Warriors. Oh. Well, I have two, and then on the Q104 league across the uh, <laughs> hall, which I don't, I don't even think anybody from Q104 is still playing. Because <laughs> Eric Wilman got disgusted and left. Oh. <clears throat> but I'm four and two in that one. Nice. Scary. What's your? What, do you have a fantasy? I'm, not, I'm out this year because I had too much going on. I didn't, get it on I didn't do it this year either. Gandhi? Yeah. No, I didn't do it this year. Yeah, wow. I have the uh, Westfield Diabetics. Uh, that's oh wow! My Sounds like name. a party, Gary. Yeah. My, my team name is well, Show you, Me Them TDs. Oh, I used to be the mayor of TD City. <laughs> oh, my so, God. Tom, could you take us through a day in the life of being president of, uh, you know, iHeartRadio? Of everything. Of, 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 of iHeartMedia. <laughs> take us, because people always ask. I mean, people know you. They Can know. you hear him? He's not close enough yep. to the mic. He's just got, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Excuse me. Take us through the day. What, what do you have Does anybody things? even listen to this thing? Yeah. yeah. They this watch is a it. Huge you podcast. should know that, Tom. <laughs> oh, wait, we're on. <laughs> You'd be if surprised. We, if we go less than 15 minutes, people get so upset. You went 12 minutes. Right. Like, what? They get mad. So right. people do listen. Tom, there okay. are some days that this show does better than the on-demand show in, in its entirety. <laughs> oh, good. Because we can curse here. So this is a safe space for you. You can yeah. say fuck. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow. This is Tom's going to leave. Danielle. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Sorry, Tom. No, no, no. He's, yeah, sorry, Tom. One more of those and I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, Tom. <laughs> yeah, so, so talk, talk uh, to it, us about it. Well, it's the overall strategy of all the radio stations, basically, that I work on. It's a big job. Yeah. Yeah. Started here at Z100. Yep. And you then kind of spread from there. Now, I heard this This used to be your office. Yeah, it did. The studio? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're sitting You're right You're sitting now. at my desk. I am? Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Tom Pullman. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, cool. Yeah, and that was my conference room, and that was my assistant uh, over where Scotty is. Yeah. 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 That's you, so you know, crazy. it's great. Scotty can't hear us, so he thinks we're talking about <laughs> well, him we're, we're right talking. now. Yeah. So if you keep on looking at Scotty, he gets really awkward. Yeah. So what made you move? <laughs> Too close what to the morning I'm, show? Because uh, Elvis wanted a nicer studio. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, he you out of your office? So I, I was evicted. So now where 
is your office now? Well, now I'm up at uh, West 55th. So Hold when on, you where come you, here, where are you going to go? Right, but now, <laughs> so when you come here, you just kind of wander? Oh, I'm over at the empty office at KTU. Okay. I got some other questions. <laughs> so are you guys trying to force us out of this building with the heat, or what is going on? Oh, I know so you feel this. Here. Oh, it's hot? Oh, because, by the way, at the other end, it's freezing. I wish. I think I would take That's the freezing. That's why I actually, I, I actually said I'm going to come to this office and I'm wearing a sweater. Oh, it's hot in here. You'll yeah. have that sweater it's off so by the end of this podcast, I get to yeah. Because right now it's sitting at 75 in the studio. Look, no we matter how much we push the button. Uh, uh, yeah, work. no, I thought it was the other way around. I thought no. uh, I thought we were freezing people out. You're melting us over here. You're freezing people out <laughs> Was down it always there. like that? It. No. This is mm. like this week. This is new this week. And I have a complaint I'd like to lodge. Maybe <laughs> I went to another one. <laughs> another complaint. I went to our engineers and I said, man, it's so hot. And you know what Jeff told me? And stay out of the fucking studio. You stay out here. It's a fine Jeff. Fine. I'll be talking to Tom about this. I, I love Jeff. I do too. Noted. Well, you guys have a nice uh, studio uptown. Yeah, I know. That's for sure. It's Don't beautiful. Wait. I think it's bigger than this. Is oh, possible? it is a little yeah. bit, yeah, definitely. So, nice. can you talk to us about some artists that are on the rise? <laughs> I'm scared. Scary. 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 So tall. Tom, tell us what, about your hopes and dreams. Well, it's a big uh, week for music. Obviously, Taylor Swift is coming out. What day is today? Is it today's tonight Wednesday. or tomorrow? So Friday is so it? Tomorrow night. Friday. Yeah, night. tomorrow night. Midnight, tomorrow night. Midnight. Yes. Yeah, and it's nice to. It's great. You know what I mean? Like I heard a piece of it. Um, well, so. everything she does is kind of good. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then uh, there's uh, new Rihanna. Yes. Oh, on Friday yeah. too, right? Uh, the next week. Next week. I think Ooh. it's the next Friday. Is she making studio visits, asking for a friend? I don't know. Maybe. you got to convince her. You're the be, guy. She likes it warm, though, so you might have <laughs> to say <laughs> I'm sweating Rihanna. I don't care. We're I'll sit here and We're prepping, We're prepping for Rihanna right now. Yes. And then uh, Selena Gomez has yes. a really good new song with her documentary. We love her. I like that. Oh, my gosh. The preview of that documentary made me cry. Yeah. It's so. It looks like it's going to be so good. Well, I feel like we've been with her her whole you know, childhood to adulthood. And there's been times where when the mm -hmm. mics were off, she was so honest with us about how she was feeling mentally and mm -hmm. what she was going through and how she was not trusting people. And I remember her saying that. And she talks a lot about, about all that stuff in the documentary. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Tom sees a lot of artists from the very beginning yeah. to mm -hmm. when they become super famous. Yeah. Who are some of your favorites? Well, it's funny because we were working on the artwork for the new building. Mm -hmm. And I saw so many really old pictures of Justin uh, Timberlake. You know, yeah. and to see him, I mean, he was a baby when he first came up here, like in 96 or 97. You remember 97? when he used to wear the yeah. pantyhose over oh, yeah. his hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Well, no, well, when he came up here, the and then Bieber, time Bieber's the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bieber was a baby. Taylor Bieber. Swift, she was just a teenager. Yeah. Danielle, don't That's gloss crazy. over the fact that you and Justin Timberlake could have been a couple no, back in the day. No, you know, that was a long time ago. I said, no, let's just move on. <laughs> well, Rihanna was one too, also. Remember, she did the uh, party plane with us in St. Lucia? She did, yeah. yeah. That was her, like, she, and she was like 16. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Tom, yeah. do you remember that party plane so where much. we charged all the drinks to one of the DJ's rooms and then, <laughs> and then it was the awkward conversation <laughs> after? That was Cubby's room. Cubby's room. Cubby's room. <laughs> oh, Cubby's. Oh, I think we, I do remember that. <laughs> Tom, do you remember the party plane where we went on Elvis's boat and, and I left my uh, passport back in the States and we almost had a real problem? Uh, all I remember is uh, spilling a Diet Coke on uh, Elvis's boat. <laughs> it was like the brand new boat and I could see it like seeping into all the cracks of the boat. It was. And I was like, oh, this isn't good. I got more questions. Not good. Okay. So, so be, being the president of programming, Sometimes during the course of your day, you have to have some difficult conversations. Do you have any difficult conversations coming up today? Oh, every day. Oh, really? Siri, do you what have time is today? it? <laughs> do I have? I don't know. I'm not on your schedule. By the way, he right? came up here to call you to his office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why it's here. Ten, ten, fifteen. <laughs> Gary, just ask for the raise. You're getting it. It feels like you're asking. You're you're building up to that. No, question. no. How do you handle? How do you how do, how do you handle difficult times at your job? I mean, it's very stressful what you do. I mean, it is, but it's just another day at the job. You know, okay. kind of. Kind of keep focused on the good things because there's a lot of we're really lucky to have the jobs that we have. Oh, I mean, very. let's just be honest. I mean, yeah. we can complain, but we get to have fun. What yep. percentage oh, wait. of Hi. your time? Hi. 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 Is his what percentage yeah, of okay. your time do you feel is putting out fires as opposed to actively working towards something else? Because that's part of our job. Yeah. Right? Big question there. It's like something comes up and you got to deal with it real quick. Yeah. Know? Well, the fires, I mean, the fires are also like needs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a client comes and they say, oh, you know, like I want to figure out uh, a solution for X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. the urgency, you know what yeah. I mean? Jumping on stuff that's urgent. I feel like that's like 75% of the time. Yeah. But 
I don't know. That's kind of what we signed up for. It's like a, a guy like you, as important as you are, the fact that you can just stop down and take 15 minutes of your time and chat with us, that would never happen in other yeah. businesses. Right. You know? Right. For yeah. the, the, basically the boss's boss. Oh, he's to here to talk to and, Scary later. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. he brought a cardboard box. <laughs> yeah. He came for me. It's like, well, this is the stuff that I love, to be yeah. honest with you. And uh, I love being around the, the studios, and I never get enough time of that. You know right. what I mean? So yeah. I, I do enjoy this. Uh, you, uh, you, wait. Go ahead, Dan. Have you ever gotten, like, the cr a crazy request from a, like, from a jock? Like, they wanted to do some crazy promotion or do something <laughs> crazy on the air, and you were just like, are you out of your mind? Oh, yeah. I Don't mean, that, me that's, like, you well, that's like 75% of the time. <laughs> Right. Tell the That's what Nate was talking about. Uh, um, oh, geez. I mean, I have to think about that. I mean, it was probably Elvis induced. <laughs> but, I love that. What about when he gave away a car and then we had to go find a oh, car? Oh, I remember oh, that. that happened a while ago. Uh, so, Tony, you share a lot of moments with artists. Like, what was the last cool moment you had with an artist where you got to break some news to them about something? Break some. Oh, well, Jax. Uh, uh, she, she, you know, as you know, because she's a friend and she grew up listening to this morning show. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, she always wanted know. to play Jingle Ball. She actually said to me that, uh, Oh, uh oh, now I'm in trouble. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. Oh, well, well, well. We're interviewing Tom Pullman, president of programming. Oh, good. Scary, get out of my chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, go ahead. You're talking about stuff. artists. Go ahead. No, go oh, ahead. so, um, well, she said it was more important for her to be on Jingle Ball than it was to win a Grammy. And uh, yeah. that she had always dreamt of that moment. And yeah. uh, she knew she was going to do a lot of the Jingle Ball shows, but she didn't know she was going to be on stage at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And so, you know, That's I took the moment while she was there with her parents and all that. Yeah, to, you're talking about Jax. Jax. Yeah, yeah. See, i got to tell you, out of all the artists we've met of late, Jax is the story that is just really a heart grabber. Yeah. No, she's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, she, uh, very <laughs> self-deprecating. You know what I mean? Like, she just... She doesn't care, you know yeah. what I mean? And she's just very innocent. And and there's that, there's that parental connection as well. Her yeah. parents are so proud of her. Yeah. And her parents yeah. are a fan of our show. Fans yeah. of our show. It's I awesome. mean, we love Jax. Yeah, What I a do too. great move to be able to do what you did and say, by the way, would you join us on the stage at Madison Square Garden? <laughs> you know that that's going to be something she's never, ever going yeah. to forget. Yeah. And then, yeah, it was kind of like when you got your full-time job. Oh, my god! It's gosh. like... So Danielle like fell on the floor. Oh my gosh. Literally <laughs> fell on the floor. He took me into his office and he's like, "We want to offer you a full time position on air, blah blah blah." And then we and here's your contract. And he pushed it over to me. And now you have to remember, I was making four twenty five an hour back in the day. That's what the minimum wage back in you know the early days. Anyway, and I swear to gosh, I got up. We took up a dollar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got up. I almost. I fell on. I literally fell on the floor. I ran around his office. Ah! Ah, he's screaming, and he said it will be one of the best memories he's ever had. Aww. But it's, yeah. it was amazing. And here it was we ridiculous. are. Yeah. Here we are. 20, um, how many years later? years later? Are years you later. kidding? Damn. Mm -mm. Wow. It's crazy, right? It's been that long. Yeah. Well, Jax fell on the floor, too. Yes. So she was very exciting. <laughs> when you have that power, people fall on the floor yes. when Tom Pollard walks in the room. Like one of those religious people who touches you? Exactly. Let's all fall on the floor. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that was Wow, they actually went down on the floor. Yes, hello? <laughs> well, I'm down here. Do you need any expensive? <laughs> See, so has it been leaves. 14 and a half minutes yet? <laughs> exactly. Can I, can I, I go back to work? <laughs> I think we went way over. Fro Froggy, where are we? Uh, we're at 13 and a half. We're good. Oh. Oh. No, they're going to complain. This is the first time Trump has not walked out on our podcast. Yes. He did well. He almost what we did. haven't talked about is his vasectomy. Oh. No. <laughs> 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 I, have a whole list of, Wait, I have a whole list of trigger <laughs> conversations. <laughs> Were you going to say the vasectomy? The vasectomy, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, he also said if you say the F word one more time. Oh, I cursed once and he almost walked in. Did you say fuck? I said yeah. fuck. Oh, oh, that's it. No, no, there we go. <laughs> He's got a two fuck limit. We love you, Tom. How much do we fucking love Tom Pollard? <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the time when I got called into his office because I said, blow my wad on the air. Oh, oh. Get him back, get him back. Part oh. two, Tom Pullman. Did you really say that on the air? I don't know if you remember, but like in the in the 90s, uh, we had a show called, um, the uh, it was the chat room or whatever. That's what oh, he's AOL back, was. Scotty, you can ask him now. Oh. He's in your studio. <laughs> ask him, Scott. 
<laughs> yeah. I thought this was a safe room. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I, I remember getting called into Tom's office in 1996 because we had the chat room. It was the it was when like AOL was first a big thing and and the internet was still in its infancy. And I was a computer called Cyberboy, and I would go on the air at night and I would have this computer voice. And when they wanted to kill him off, I went on the air and I'm like, I blew my wad or something like that. And Tom got pissed and called me into his office the next day. <laughs> but I'm I'm happy that I'm still here and I live to tell about it. <laughs> yeah. He's like the Grim Reaper Wait, behind so what, you. <laughs> what was your question, Scotty? I, I just I, I I just want to know if he remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now he will. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye.